Most of the times, you will want your app to display differently on a mobile versus a tablet. Um, I mean, a larger device. So the idea is that on a tablet or on a larger device, you have more space uh, to utilize and it improves the user experience. So far in our app, like the employee app, which you have created, you can see you display a list of employees here. And when the user clicks on a employee, then the details are displayed next to next to it. So this kind of view will be good for, you know, a tablet or a larger device. Whereas on a phone, um, you can just display a list of employees because of the lesser amount of space you have. And then when a user clicks on an employee, you take them to a detailed activity. I mean a detailed view. Now how you can achieve this? In Android, you have resource specific folders. In simple terms, say you have a layout XML file. Okay, with in our case, the, the layout XML file has two fragments. One is displaying a list and one is displaying the detailed view. Now, you can have a couple of layout XML files, one for the phone and one for the tablet. Okay, and what you need to do is, you need to create a folder. I mean, here we have the layout folder. Similarly, what you need to do is, you need to create a new directory and you need to call it layout large okay okay and the layout large actually it should be at the root i mean it should be at the res level okay and what happens is and what happens is in this layout large file you will place your xml file now at runtime android will pick this file for a tablet or a larger device and it will pick the for example the content main xml from the layout folder for the phone okay now you might be wondering how do i create this folder how do i know the options i have so let me show you a, a very basic scenario so the options you have can be categorized into resource type screen size screen density orientation and aspect ratio so resources can be like layout, menu, images, uh, screen size can be small, normal, large, extra large for a large tablet, density can be LDPI, MDPI, orientation can be landscape and portrait and using these combinations you can create different folders for handling all kind of scenarios. It can be tablet, it can be phone, it can be whatnot. So in our case we can pick up this layout and we can pick up this large option you can also have landscape or portrait additionally but this is how you derive the thing you can find this detail on my blog i'll provide a link for that so this is the way you you create folders and then you place your xml files in that okay and once you do that then the next step becomes how do you tell android um, when to start a detail activity or when to do you know the stuff we have been doing so i'll discuss that in, in the next video but for now uh, take a look at the you know take a look at my blog uh, try to understand this this fundamental principle like how you can um, have a different layout or a different resource for different options I mean different screen size density orientation like you saw just now and uh, try to practice it I mean create a folder and place XML file in the next video I'll take this further okay Thanks, bye.